Welcome to this tutorial on MPCs and M-Series. We will look at making an effect using the tilt and the dimmer synchronized together. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we would have here on the screen, uh, I build a view where we can select groups. I have a programmer. I do have the common parameter uh, where I can see the linking. We'll need that. Also direct access could be useful sometime. I put my keypad and I have my parameters up here. And I as well have show designer up and running. I'm using the training, the default training show file uh, in both uh, MPC and MSD. So if you want to try with the MSD demo version example, you can do the same thing uh, as I'm doing. So let's start. First, I will select the Mac 101 here. Uh, the reason I'm choosing these is they are in a row. There are 16 Mac 101 in a single row. Makes it easy to uh, demonstrate uh, such a feature. Then we go into intensity and we put the intensity at 50%. We go to FX and here we will put the swing at maximum and uh, let's use a speed of uh, 40%. We keep it as a sine wave. Then we move to pan and tilt. We go to FX and here we're going to apply uh, an amplitude, uh, let's say between quarter and half put a speed and that's where it's really important we put the same speed as we did on the intensity which was 40 percent so as soon as two parameters have the same speed on fx they will automatically synchronize and as a shape we will choose the circle so now i can go back to pan and tilt and just tilt it tilt the fixture up a little bit so we have something that start from the top and goes all the way down and we can go back to effects here this is it basically the the first step is done we have a synchronized dimmer and tilt together if you want to start playing with the wave per of course if you do it here what happens is now i'm only applying the wave to the uh, pan and tilt not to the intensity let's leave that off and this is where linking comes into play so you turn on the link you select intensity and you select tilt and then when i apply a wave i do get both of them synchronized so with a wave per 16 here we can clearly see what is happening if i uh, go to a wave by four so then we get this kind of effect could be interesting if i go to the effect speed here i can speed that up a little bit you have to be careful see now it's like it's the fixture just cannot keep up because the, the motion is too great, so I could reduce the actual tilt range. We're dealing with mechanics here, and the show designer is trying to emulate that as well. So if you're going too fast, the fixture will not be able to move uh, fast enough, and uh, your, your effects will be broken. So let's go back to 40 here. And uh, sometimes when you change speed or you change the uh, some parameters, the effects will take like a cycle to resynchronize. It's possible. Back to the effects here. If we choose different curve here, uh, we will get different results. So if I choose like a shape like this here, you'll see the, the result will be different. If I choose a figure eight, then you will have like a part that goes up and then part that goes down. Same with the S shape. It could be interesting depending on the effects you want to do. I can do that. I can speed it up a bit. It will just be a different effect. I'll go back to the circle. All right. So there we go. The effect has resynchronized. So now what I will do is go to the effects timing and start using the grouping. So far, we only use a wave per X. Here in the this button here, we can choose how we're gonna make division when we apply a delay. So let's do like a block of four and then a wave by four. So you clearly see it now, there's basically a wave of four, block of four. If I do a block of two, which will be half and half, you see nothing happen until you apply the wave per. That will be block of two. If I do a block of two, wave per eight. If I do um, in every four, then you get this. If I do uh, every eight fixture, what's interesting is because it's a straight line, we can do a mirror by two, wave by eight, and then you get like from the edge towards the center. Mirror by two, wave of four. So as you see, as you, you can play with this and you'll get different result. If you need to, uh, change some parameters individually don't forget to turn off the link first then you can go and play with some parameters uh, and when when you're ready to resynchronize then you can turn the link back on and select which parameters you want to to synchronize uh, for the effects so this is it uh, you have a 
a starting point there to start building effects. You can give it a try and uh, have fun. Thank you.